Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Brayden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, the content that I have for you tonight is going to send you into the weekend right. Now, you know, we've been talking about on this channel a lot about the Ukrainian gun rights that are growing out of need of the emergency that's happening there. Now, I turned around, I did a little bit of a domestic look around to see what I was missing, and you would be amazed at what I found. Now, there's an article linked in the description box below, and it's basically all around how the gun advocates are winning the fight. And it's not just some random talking head saying that. We're talking the head of Giffords.org's legal department, the chief counsel. I cannot wait to show you some of these quotes. It literally says it's a troubling time for gun control advocates. This is something you need to see. Send this out to whomever you think would have a little weekend pick-me-up because we are winning. We're going to pass the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation, but we have to continue the fight day in and day out. That's what this channel is all about, and let me hear from you in the comments if you are down for the fight as well. Now, I'm going to say a quick word from our sponsor who made this video possible, and I cannot wait to show you these quotes right after. Now, our sponsor, Armed American Supply, is a small, family-run business owned by a retired law enforcement officer and his wife. They design, print, and ship everything in-house from their shop in southern New Jersey. Currently, they have a weekend sale for a huge 30% off site-wide. If you're the type who loves quality Second Amendment and blue-collar apparel, I think you might be interested in checking them out. There's a link in the description box below to let them know that I sent you their way, and I'd love some support. But now, let's dive into this, and thank you so much to Armed American Supply for making this possible. So the quotes I'm about to show you are linked in the description box. Just so you guys know, I am not full of it. This is actually happening. This was published in USA Today. Check it out. The article we're covering. Gun rights groups' wave of lawsuits could change America's relationships with firearms. This is from 5 a.m. on February 22nd. So this is two or three days ago. This is showing you that this is working. Our advocacy is working. Do not give up. We are, oh, this is going to be amazing. Listen to this quote to set it up. Quote, these are troubling times for Americans who are trying to fight gun violence. Our entire history of regulating firearms is being challenged. Adam Skaggs, chief counsel and policy director of Giffords Law Center to prevent gun violence. That is one of the top two gun control agencies. This guy makes all the legal decisions and the policy. This is not a small fry intern. Listen to what he's scared about. I'm going to show you some of these quotes in this article. If you want to read it, it's a little bit longer. It's linked, but this is, this is massive. Escalating Second Amendment court battles could soon dramatically reorder the nation's relationships with firearms. Gun rights groups are mounting a wave of federal lawsuits that challenge local, state, and federal restrictions on the Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. And they're winning. I'll read that last one. And they're winning. Don't give up. We are making headway. Even though they're loud and obnoxious, we're still winning. Check this out. From early 2016 through the close of 2021, six of the organizations were among the plaintiffs in more than 90 federal court cases. Either independently or jointly, a USA Today review of firearms-related lawsuits shows. Now listen to what they were winning on. The combined court fights so far have tallied nearly 20 interim or final victories. The case overturned COVID-19 pandemic-related shutdowns of firearm registration systems, knocked down gun licensing prohibitions for residents of public housing and prospective foster parents, and enabled permanent legal residents to seek firearm licenses. So those are just some victories that they're saying, but listen to where we're going next. This is back to the same guy, Skaggs. Some of the groups have shown, quote, a willingness to challenge just about any gun regulation there is, said Skaggs, the chief counsel of Giffords, um, Giffords Law Center. The lawsuits support that view. They're terrified because they're finally getting pressure pushed back on them, and it's working because their actions are unconstitutional. All it takes is one person to call them on the carpet, one person to activate, and all of a sudden they're in trouble. Let's keep going. I've got two more quotes for you. One of the lawsuits brought the most consequential Second Amendment challenges in more than a decade to the U.S. Supreme Court. Very true. This is the New York case. The case challenges New York's requirement that those that seek, who seek licenses to carry handguns outside their homes for self-defense must demonstrate good cause. Now, that's the Bruin case, right? That one's going to be coming down in the summertime. They're terrified. 
if the nation's highest court finds the required uh, the requirement unconstitutional in a decision expected this summer, the ruling could apply to similar firearms laws nationwide, allowing more guns to be carried legally in the nation's most crowded cities, said Skaggs, same guy, chief counsel. The lawsuits filed by the gun rights groups include at least five that are on hold because the high court's decision would likely um, affect their outcomes. That's the entire piece. This Bruin versus New York case is the linchpin. If this goes down, and I have a good suspicion that it's going to, it's going to unravel everything, and I'm going to be very busy for the next five to six months. Just saying. Last thing. Other pending cases filed by the groups feature challenges to laws that ban or restrict high-capacity gun magazines. Washington sound familiar? Bar firearms deemed assault weapons and set minimum age requirements for gun licenses. Now, that was from the Fourth Circuit. All the things that we've been working on and talking about incrementally through the entire last 12 to 14 months is coming to a head right now. And that's because of your support, your willingness to fight, and your standing up. We have more power than a lot of people believe that we do, and we are making headway. Don't give up now because we are about to push this boulder downhill. That's what I have for you. I hope it sends your weekend off in the right direction. Let me know what you think, and I will see you on tomorrow morning's episode of Bullet Points. I'm Braden. See you later.